when you're out hunting waterfowl, there's a good chance you'll be checked by a game warden. Here are a few tips to keep in mind. Good etiquette when I come up on a blind, usually I'm coming up in an airboat out here in the flats. Most people know the game warden's coming, they can see our boat. But if not, if you see a boat approaching once you realize who it is, good etiquette is to go ahead and unload your guns, unload them safely. When we get to the blind, first thing we look for is license. Thank you. We look at your guns and we look at your birds. So if you can have all that ready to go, the uh, inspection will go a lot quicker. We can get you on your hunt and we can go on to the next blind. During waterfowl season, the most common violation game wardens encounter has nothing to do with birds. The most common violation that we see is not having a hunter education course. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that once you turn 17, you're required to have a hunter education course. Anyone born after September 2nd of 71 is required to have a hunter ed course. Hunters under nine years old Everybody. must be accompanied by a person who is at least 17 years old, who is licensed to hunt in the state of Texas, who has passed hunter education or is exempt, and they must be within normal voice control. Hunters between 9 and 16 years old must successfully complete a hunter education course or be accompanied. Age 17 and older must successfully complete a hunter education course or purchase a one-year hunter education deferral and be accompanied. In addition to your hunting license, you need a state migratory game bird endorsement. And you also need your federal migratory game bird stamp. And those are the two main things that you've got to have out here. When you purchase a hunting license and the stamp endorsements to hunt waterfowl, yes, you should also become license, HIP certified, and that will be printed on your license. HIP certification is your harvest information program, and that's a mandated program by the federal government, and it's looking for harvest information on waterfowl to better determine what's out here, what's been taken. If you're buying a hunting license or buying an endorsement, they are going to ask you questions as to how many migratory birds you killed. It doesn't cost anything extra. They'll print it out, it'll come with your license, and we'll look at it when we check you out here in the field. If you're missing your hip, you can run back to any store that sells licenses. Take your driver's license with you, take your hunting license, just tell them you need that hip certification, they'll print it out, it won't cost you anything. To hunt sandhill cranes, you need to go get a federal sandhill crane permit. And those you can pick up at any Parks and Wildlife Law Enforcement Office, or you can go online and get that, or you can also do it over phone through Austin. So there's several ways you can get it. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free, but you are required to have the permit with you when you're hunting. When game wardens inspect you when you're hunting waterfowl, they'll also check to see if your shotgun is legal. Okay, can't hold more than three shells, right? There's one. There's two. There's three. Four. Five. It should stop. A shotgun cannot hold more than three shells in the gun while hunting waterfowl. And that's done with shotguns by putting a plug into the magazine and that'll enable the gun to only fire three shots. It's very important that you check your guns out here when you're hunting. Game wardens will also check to make sure the ammunition you use contains non-toxic shot. It's illegal to hunt migratory waterfowl with lead shot. Some of the most common violations are possession of lead shot, out here, we run into a lot of hunters that run into different stores, and they buy the first shells that they see, and doesn't mean that it's, it's legal to hunt ducks. You have to have non-toxic. Hunters should look carefully at the box. It should say steel or non-toxic. Okay, so you've got a valid hunting license, the right endorsements, a legal shotgun, and non-toxic ammunition. Now you've got to be careful about what waterfowl you harvest. One of the other things that we see are over limit on birds, and this is due to the fact that you have new hunters out here in the field or inexperienced hunters. They don't realize that hens and drakes look different. So they shoot a hen drake pintail, and 
think they've got two different ducks. Well, it's fine when it's two duck limit on pintails, but when they shoot that third pintail, now we've got a problem where they don't realize they're over limit. So waterfowl identification is very important. Specific species limits change from year to year. So it's very important that you don't come out here and assume that the bag limit is six birds, whatever you shoot. Remember, some birds have a one bird limit, some have two. So altogether, you can have six, but you have to be very careful and know what you're doing out here as far as bag limits go. When you do harvest a bird, it's important for each hunter to keep track of their own birds. The birds, we like them separated by hunter. As to who shot what, we want your birds here, next birds here, next birds there. Makes it a lot simpler, a lot easier to go through that inspection and be on our way. Many hunters clean their birds before they go home. Here too, there is something important to keep in mind. The one thing to remember is until those birds get to final destination, which is your home, you have to keep a fully feathered wing or a head attached to that bird so that we can identify that bird. You can pluck them, but a wing or a head has to be attached. That's the only way we can identify them. Another thing to keep in mind when hunting is to always wear proper hearing protection and eye protection. It's not required by law, but it's just good common sense. If you observe the game laws and practice safe hunting techniques, you'll have an enjoyable hunting season. Guys, I'll be good. Good luck with your hunt, all right? To all our hunters, I just want them to know that as game wardens, we realize we work for you. You're our bosses out here. And we want this to be a great experience for you, your kids. We want people to keep hunting out here. And hopefully everybody has a great hunting season and we'll see you on the water.